All right, everyone. Uh, it's I guess it's Nazi Day because we got so much Nazi news coming out of uh, this. In this case, the Independent, although other firms have reported on it. Uh, Mike Cernovich and Cassandra Fairbanks uh, went to the the White House. They got press passes there, and they decided to take a picture of themselves there. And they're going like this. Now the ADL, in its infinite wisdom, has determined that this is a hate symbol used by white nationalists. So simply by showing you this, like this makes me Hitler too. Okay, you know, I'm gonna get at some point. I'm gonna get branded like a bigot anyway, because my views aren't totally lockstep in line with social justice warriors. I don't even fucking care. Go ahead. It doesn't even matter. And then again, they also said that Pepe is racist. Okay, so I guess I'm I'm a double racist and drinking milk. You know, because uh, people who are of European diaspora generally can have dairy. Uh, at least, at least they don't get like violently ill from it. Maybe they get a little stomach upset. Some of them do. Others, like myself, I can choke down the milk and yogurt. I feel fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, and and people from like sub-Saharan Africa, they're typically like severely lactose intolerant. So milk is also a symbol of white supremacy. Now, what the ADL doesn't appear to realize is that it was actually a trolling endeavor to get this entered in as a hate symbol. Yeah, it started some time ago with people trying to push that line specifically to troll the, the corporate media. And because the ADL decided to actually list it, uh, the corporate media took the bait and now they've shilled themselves, actually. They've just shown the entire world how really, truly dumb they truly are. Which isn't much of a task. I mean, most people already knew that. But here's the thing. I suppose you're saying the entire population of Italy is composed of Nazis. Anyone who's ever used, like, Pepe uh, in an unironic fashion is a Nazi. That's got to be at least tens of millions of people, by the way, using, you know, dozens of large websites. Um, if you ever vote, if you voted for Trump, you voted for Brexit, you support Le Pen the Swedish Democrats, Hofer in Austria, some of these other political movements. If you are uh, against Maduro, if you think that, you know, communism doesn't work, basically everybody in this world is a Nazi. You'd think that Hitler won the Second World War. You'd think that these sort of conspiracy tales of him being cryogenically frozen as a half-android under the Antarctic ice with millions of Nazi soldiers and waiting there like robot nazis waiting under the ice with ufos you know they're going to take over the world as soon as they melt through the ice cap there or something now you'd think that that was actually true if you looked around and you saw the world through the adl's eyes if you saw the world through the eyes of cnn or the new york times you'd think that hitler won the second world war now this is all a myth milk does not make you racist Doing this does not make you racist. You're not a bigot because you like Pepe or something like that. This is all a bunch of shilling. But the thing is, groups like this, the corporate media, the politicians, all of these little offshoot groups that rub elbows with them, the bankers, they want globalism and they want suppression. They want censorship. The only way to justify it, to get normal people to actually uh, uh, be willing to deal with it, is to convince them that there's a, a large and growing, ever-proliferating army of young Nazis that are now, they're like going to take over the world or something. Now, that's straight out of the realm of sci-fi. It doesn't make any sense to anyone who's tech literate. I guess they're relying upon the decreasing minority of people who still pay attention to the TV news instead of using, like, something online. I guess they're counting on them to want more uh, big government, more corporate media maybe attacks on the alternative press or something like that. These people are as dishonest as they come. It's blatant propaganda in every possible sense of the term. And it's not positive propaganda. It's not meant to make people free or to say, you know, relax about all this crap that you're thinking about that's not even an issue and focus on things that are actually worrisome. No, it's getting them to focus on a lie, something that doesn't even exist. You know, white nationalism. Oh. Oh no, it's Hitler's inside of me, he's possessing me. Oh shit, you know, now I'm a Nazi. It's not the way the world works. The ADL thinks it does too. Look, this coffee is like dark colored and I'm ingesting it. I'm decreasing its composition. Does that make me a bigot too? Is this a, a white supremacist symbol? What about this? Can this be turned into a symbol of white supremacy? So that anyone who ever gave a thumbs up, you know, any sign with a thumbs up, it's all Nazis all the way down. You're going to end up with a self-fulfilling prophecy. Some of these corporate media heads, the ADL and APAC, and all these friggin' groups, be very careful. 
because what you're doing is making such a mockery of your own argument that people that right now pretend occasionally to be like, oh yeah, see Kyle, see Kyle, and they're doing it ironically. They're doing it to troll, maybe get a rise out of their friends. It's not going to be so ironic anymore. That's what you do understand that this is what you are doing. You happen to be primarily doing it in the main nuclear power and military power of the entire world. It's not quite the same as in the 1940s. Uh, and we have already set a 30s-esque stage for world affairs anyway. I would think this is dangerous to attempt to shill in this manner. I don't know what you're trying to accomplish. I have to assume that it's nefarious in one way or the other. Hmm. Oh, shit, I just, uh, I just insulted Black Lives Matter, probably, or something like that. And this is how these weirdos think. I mean, they're totally, they're, these people are screwballs. We would have thrown them on the funny farm a hundred years ago for suggesting the crap that they're suggesting right now. It doesn't make any sense. Cernovich, oh no, he's a Nazi. Cassandra Fearing, she's a Nazi. Molyneux makes a video satirizing the whole thing. Oh, I guess they'll declare him a Nazi, too. You know, uh, you know, then there are the actual Nazis. They always ignore them now, don't they? they? They never say anything about those people. They never say anything about some actual skinhead who breaks into a liquor store. Some actual, like, clan member or something like that. They totally ignore that. It never even makes page two. What are they so concerned about? Bunch of online commentators that they all but ignored a year ago. Oh, these people, uh, yeah, it's just a gimmick. Yeah, they make some money online, who cares? They're not going to challenge the corporate media because we have billions of dollars. Now they're terrified. So they're working directly with political movements uh, within the establishment as well as some of these shill firms. That's what they're doing. Because people are starting to wake up to their bullcrap. They're realizing that they're all intertwined and they're all lying to them on a constant basis. And as people move further and further away from that establishment... Uh, the problem is they use their propaganda to convince people who are still part of the establishment, they feel more, they don't want change, they don't feel comfy with it, uh, that there's an army of mythical Nazis rising up to lynch them or something. It's a bunch of bullcrap, it's not even real. Anyone taking this seriously has problems, severe mental difficulties. Unfortunately, there will always be a handful of people that'll take anything seriously. You could tell them, oh, the moon is literally made of cheese. NASA covered it up when they got there. Yeah, the moon landing was real, but when they found it was actually a big block of cheese put there by God, and it's like, you know, four-dimensional, and it exists, you know, in different spans of time, and there's all sorts of weird warps, and there's aliens walking around. You claim that, there will be people who will accept that. You'd probably find a few dozen people in the world that would be gullible enough to think it was true. If you were well-argued enough to convince them of it in the first place, they'd probably start a cult out of it. Well, if you can do that, then how much easier is it to shill a bunch of people online pretending to be a Nazi, you know, CTR, ShareBlue, or whatever, and then to make it into a self-fulfilling prophecy by saying, aha, see, Nazis! Or you post a bunch of crap on 4chan about this, and some of it was probably shill, not even, like, organic trolls, and then there were, like, the alt-right, the organic trolls totally co-opted it, said, yes, this is actually a very good idea. We're going to have a joke a really big laugh at the corporate media's expense, and they actually take the bait. How dumb can you be? You think they're still conducting journalism? No, they're, no, they're not. They fly by the seat of their pants because they want a juicy scoop. They want to scoop one another. They want to scoop the alt media. There's really the big thing. I'm going to say one other thing. I think one major reason why the corporate media, especially right now, is so fucking terrified, is they realize alternative media is an army of people with smartphones. They can get primary footage of anything that goes on way quicker than the news van can show up. Doesn't matter how many drones and copters and news vans CNN or, or their affiliates or whatever Fox have, they still can't get there fast enough. So they get scooped over and over and over again. Increasingly, if someone wants the primary skinny on what's happening, they want the video footage, they go to YouTube. They want the first mention of something that's happening, they go to Twitter. Not going to CNN and Fox. They don't need to keep their TV on 24-7. Sometimes it's half an hour, a couple hours later before they even pick up the story. And in that time frame, by the way, they're not conducting journalism. The raw journalism is done by private citizens all over the world. Those are your journalists now. The corporate media no longer engages in journalism. They just do analysis and write-ups of the journalism that has been conducted, often without attribution, mostly with spin and bias. You should cut the cable. You should uh, totally ignore these firms. 
That's how we'll win this war. Totally ignore them, deprive them of all income, and they go away. They fall flat. Then the alt-media can rise up in its place, and at least for a while, they'll be a hell of a lot more honest. We may have to rein them in at some point in the future, but right now, mostly, yeah, there's some bias there, certainly, like Breitbart, Drudge, the Young Turks or something, but it's better than CNN, way better than Fox or something like that. Some of these groups, they're corporate subsidiaries, they're still more honest. I mean, uh, they have at least a little bit of autonomy. And some random person online, yeah, yeah, they've got less bias than somebody who's getting paid seven figures to read what they see on a teleprompter. Well, no shit. That's what happens. There's no army of Nazis. This is not a Nazi symbol. The, in the Independent or CNN or whatever, they can claim it all day. It doesn't make it true. They're not the arbiters of truth. Maybe a hundred years ago they were. Now they're the arbiters of lies. Everything they say is fake. They are corporate entities. They're paid to lie to you. They're not paid to give you the truth. The truth doesn't sell anyway. That's the way it's worked for a very, very long time. That's about all. Peace out.